YouTube Shaker here with a review of the Uchi Sentai Q uh, Ranger Q Tamagatai Zero to the X Sasori Voyager, the Voyager belonging to Sasori Orange from the newest episode of Q Ranger. For those of you that are all up to date and all that fun stuff, so really neat. Uh, we have a picture of Q Reno up here. We are gonna make that combination because it's on the box. I figured why not? Uh, also, flip things around to make him a leg. Don't worry. There is that, and that, and that, and that, and all that fun stuff. So, this was released in February 2017 with everything else in the line so far, because that's just how Bandai rolls <laughs> for the price listed on your screen right now. Pretty affordable for these things, so I'm uh, happy about that, at the very least. Let's get this open and take a look. Rah. And here is the little Sasori Voyager, and I like him a lot. I think scorpions are really neat. I'm kind of terrified of them because they have stingers and all that, and they're kind of gross looking. But they're cool, <laughs> at the very least as well. So, uh, yeah, there, there's that. I don't know. I, I like orange as a ranger color a lot, and I dig this uh, guy quite a bit. I wish his little pinchers moved. Uh, they do look kind of cool. I mean, one is brown and one is yellow, so that's kind of cool. I don't know why, but... Uh, that is what it is. Uh, yeah, I just wish they moved a little bit. Uh, that is the only downside to this guy, I think. Um, it is a very simple clasp kind of gimmick down there for the legs. All one piece, and the little stinger can go like this. I almost wish that was an action feature, but uh, you kind of have to pose this in different ways for the various combinations. So I can understand it not being a little action feature so there you go and of course there is the Qtama on the back this slides right off uh, like all most of the other voyagers rather it does rotate right there because you have to move this guy around in order to get him into his various arm combinations uh, but yeah this pops right off here is a quick look at the Qtama itself here it is all nice and done number two right there here it is in its normal default unpowered mode just like that. Uh, nice orange plastic down here at the bottom. I have just fully accepted the fact that the Qtamas will not have uniform butts. Uh, <laughs> and that is okay. Uh, I think they will if you just get candy toy ones and only candy toy ones. But uh, if you collect all the DX ones and stuff, I don't think they're going to have matching butts. B16. And there is the single pin right there for the Sasori Qtama. And uh, just like all of the other... Voyager related Qtamas, you have the ranger sitting in the cockpit as the image. So, nothing too crazy there. If you want one that has an actual scorpion as the image or something like that, I don't know what his will actually look like. Uh, hang on for a candy toy or gashapon one, as those ones are having actual images in there instead of the cockpits. But... And uh, one thing that was pointed out to me in the Hureno video that uh, I was not aware of is that these actually have some unique uh, save the control uh, noises. Nothing too thrilling, but it is something that is new that I forgot to show in the previous video, so I will do that for the remaining four for sure. So let's move on to the combinations. Oh, all right, let's reattach this to his derriere right there. Haha, <laughs> that rhymed. And uh, let's go ahead and do the arm mode first. All you have to do is fold those legs up and fold the stinger down like this. And you are pretty much good to go. Just rotate that. So this will be the left arm of the formation we're about to do. 
All right, so like I said before, I'm doing the formation that was on the box first, because why not? Uh, one thing I do want to point out real quick is that the actual combination has Oshi's head just like that. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the way that looks, so I always rotate the head a little bit so it actually looks like a hand of some sort. Uh, just wanted to point that out. Didn't get any comments about it on my Kyurano video, but I just thought I would point that out right away. And there we go with uh, the Sasori Voyager as an arm. And pretty cool. I like the way it looks. I assume this is like a little laser blaster kind of thing. Plus, I assume you could stab people with it as well. So a nice little double feature there. But uh, I don't know. I dig it. I, I think it looks all right uh, as an arm uh, for sure. I mean, it's got pinchers. It's got pointies. It's got guns. It's got everything you really need in an arm. So <laughs> I, uh, I dig it quite a bit. So that's really neat. So there we go with that, and uh, just a real quick to put some focus on that uh, light right in there. Super galaxy! Totally see that. <laughs> oh yeah, well that kind of failed, but I'll have an image in the photo gallery, so don't <laughs> worry about that. Uh, to convert it into an leg, in in leg, yeah, totally. Uh, it is very simple. You just fold it up like this, and that will go like that. And I kind of leave it down. The actual instructions have it pointing straight ahead, but uh, I just generally kind of leave it down just because I feel like it's going gonna, it's gonna to droop down anyhow. And to make it the left leg, do it like that, and the right leg will just tilt a little bit like that. So nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and make it the right leg because why not go ahead and prep him for up there and then boom right there and there we have a formation with him as the leg right down there it's a it's an all right leg too it suffers the same kind of thing as most of the arm based ones do in fact that they make a very very thin leg but i think with uh, his stinger and the claws and stuff it makes a nicer looking foot so, despite the fact that the, the leg is thin, it doesn't actually look like a small foot. So, that's a little bit nicer as well. I think it's probably the best of the, the arm-based ones in terms of being a foot uh, thus far. I mean, being Kajiki and Chameleon uh, both will end up looking very, very thin. But, uh, still really cool. I, I dig it as a leg as well. So that about does it for this one, and I like this little guy a lot. Um, I'm not sure how fond I am of the character just yet. He just introduced... So we need a little bit of time with him, but I really like his suit a lot. Like I said, I love Orange Rangers and I love Orange Mecha, and uh, this is another little winner in my book. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily my favorite of the Voyagers so far, but it's definitely one of the ones I like to pick up and play with the most. I think the posability of the Stinger uh, gives him a little bit more options of playability. You can kind of act like he's stinging things, and... I don't know, it just looks really cool, and I dig it a lot. Uh, obviously, if you have Kyureno, this is an instant pickup for sure. Uh, just adding that extra layer of uh, combination possibilities makes this one totally worth it as well. Plus, you get the Sasori Kyutama on top of it, so it's a little bit of a win-win in my humble opinion. I like this line so far. I think it's great. Tons of fun, and I definitely recommend Sasori Voyager. So that about does it for this review. Uh, let me know what you think of this guy in the comments down below. And of course, like, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great one. Bye.